Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Mike from drive80.com and today we're going to talk about image size in Photoshop. A buddy of mine asked me about how you can take a large photo and bring it down in size so you can put it on the web. A couple of things that you need to know before doing that is one, anything on the web is going to be, it's going to have dimensions, um, which means that if you're on Facebook and there's a Facebook header, it's going to be a certain dimension. And if I did like a new file, I actually think this is uh, this would be more of a Facebook ad. So you have to know the dimensions of what you're making to begin with. So let's say that anything, let's say that you need to get an image and it needs to be 1200 by 900 because this, I believe, is a Facebook ad. Uh, and you want to make sure that if the file size was small enough, you can upload it then you want to make sure that the resolution is 72. So 72 is what is the resolution you want on the web, and you want it to be RGB. If you're going to print something, you want it to be 300 DPI, and you want it to be CMYK. That's a whole other lesson, but just remember, and that basically means that in, within an inch, there's 300 pixels, and if that means that when it's printing, it's going to have a lot of detail. And when it's on the web, it doesn't need that much detail because the web, you're not printing anything, and it's using light. It's a very, very basic um, answer to that question, but just just trust me. Just make the, make sure your resolution is 72 and it's RGB. Now let's say let's cancel out of this. Here's the image that my friend sent me, and the problem with this, if I do Option Command I, you can see that the width is 6,683 and the height's 4,460. If it was inches, it's it's pretty gigantic. This is a good file for printing, even though it's like 150 resolution, which I think would still be okay. But that's again a whole other topic. If I just wanted to bring, if I just wanted to take this image and bring it down in size, I would just go to the resolution and bring it to 72, and that would bring down the size of the image to begin with. Now, this might not be the final thing that you need. Let's say that the width needed to be, like I said, 1200 by uh, whatever that was, 900. If I do this and bring it down 1200, again, the height isn't going to match my dimensions, but that's something you can fix. But if I did this and hit OK, and right now, and if I hit a save for web, uh, which would be up here, file, save for web, or you could just do shift, option, command, S if you're on a Mac, and it'll give you these options. So you can see right now that the it'd be 102K, which is pretty great. And 19 seconds to load. I, you know, I, I do a lot of video, and um, this is something you'd have to kind of figure out it, the loading time because browsers and everything are so fast nowadays that I'm not sure how much this really matters. I'm sure it does matter, and I'm sure someone who designs a lot for the web would be like, you know, you're wrong, blah blah blah. But let's just let's just not work, worry about this. Let's focus here. And if I hit uh, Command minus, it'll bring down, it'll bring the image down. Actually, if I do Command plus, it'll bring it up. Here's where you can mess with the different options to um, to bring it down a little bit more in file size. So let's say I did high quality. I wanted the quality to be 60, which is fine. Blur, I'm not going to touch. Progressive, I'm not going to care about any of this stuff. I'm just going to not focus on any of this crap. I'm going to focus on this. Make sure it's a JPEG. And we can make sure the quality is 60. So let's say you're uploading. This image particularly was supposed to be uploaded to a photography website, I believe. And they were having issues doing that. Um, so in this sense, in this case, let's just keep it at high and 60. And let's save it. I'm going to save it on my desktop. And I'm going to call it Cake 2. Cake 2. And... I'm going to compare file sizes. So if I look at the original one, it's 20 megs. But if I look at the new one, it's 107 kilobytes. And if I look at it, if I hit spacebar, it'll bring it up. The quality is pretty good. But the dimensions are probably still too big, I think. But that's the quickest way you can bring the file size down. And if I go back to the image, I hit undo, or I hit uh, Option Command Z, and I'll bring it back to the normal size. I've had Option Command I. I can see that my file size is this big. Um, so again, you want to make sure you bring it to 72, and you can then, like again, you could bring this down to like 300, and it'll keep the dimension size it'll be 300 by 200. But you know, know exactly what the dimension size needs to be where you're uploading it. So let's say if I did a new file and it was 1200 by 900, I hit OK, and I put this, it's got to load this a little bit, initial type, okay, 
if I brought this down, come on, if I brought this down and put this on top of it, if I just drag this, let's see, what was this again? This was, yeah, too big. So let's bring it down to 72 and hit OK. And then I'm going to drag this onto this dimension. So you'll see, if I hit F and I hit uh, Control or Command minus, you'll see that these borders here, that this, this image is still huge. So I can grab a corner like this and hold Shift Option and bring it down. And I could fill it to fit this space. Now the problem is that you are going to have some overflow here. And but if you want to keep the dimensions, then you have to keep it that way. If I wanted to take this and say, well, I gotta fit it in this box, you'll visually see that it's going to distort the image. So hopefully that makes sense. And you don't want to ever distort the image like that just to fit it in the space. You always want to make sure that dimensions and width and height are going in are gonna be um uh, doing this are going to be, I can't think of the damn words. It has to be in unison. <laughs> Hopefully that's the right way. But yeah, um, yeah. so if you have any questions, uh, you can just email me directly at mike at drive80.com. My text is invisible right now. I'm going to make it red. And I was, I could really fix these. There we go. Yeah, so you can just email me, mike at drive80.com. If there's any comments or if this video is in, uh, wherever this video is posted, you can just leave me a question in the comments as well if there's anything I didn't go over that you didn't understand. And that's it. Uh, hopefully that was helpful.